she different though. Yeah, she different. She different, and she put in enough work for that. What's really unfortunate though is Chris really supposed to be on that level. Wait, you think so, bro? What, bro? He's been consistent every year. It's hard going to platinum see. in jail. It's hard to like, say you belong on that level though, bro. Chris Brown, bro, is the closest thing outside of Beyonce to to Michael, bro. Period. Point blank. I get bro. what you're saying, but talent wise, no, you're this, right. This you're is what right. I'm talking about. Keep in mind, I'm 100%. talking about talent. No, you're right. I don't look at artists and be like, who they fucking. Or who no, they, no, 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 or no. What's you, their personal you, life? I don't look at none of that. You're right. Do I believe that Chris Brown deserves a lot more flowers than he gets? Absolutely, hundred percent. But you I just think feel Beyonce like, make better songs than Chris Brown. Um, songs. Keep it a hundred, bro. Probably. You think Beyonce yeah. make better songs? Yeah. You done lost your mind, Kenny. I think so. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you suffer from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. You know, light skinned niggas love the ladies. Uh -huh. We all love the ladies. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's easier to say when you light skinned. Yeah. <laughs> hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. I've met, I met a lot of women that say, I don't like light skins. I ain't gonna lie Facts, to you. That's true. I, bro, I met, they be lying. Lying, bro. I met a lot of them. They'd be like, I ain't gonna lie, you look good, but I don't do light skins. Girls be lying. I'd be like, all right, say no more. Your friend, though. <laughs> oh, I do like... All right, say no more. You know, it's somebody for everybody. Girls, be lying. They, they be girls lying. do be saying that because I feel like they say that because it's the easiest thing to say. Girls love light skin niggas. We <sighs> love light skin niggas. It's so many women in the world, I don't even care who don't like us. It's true. It's true. It's, it's more single women than single men. <laughs> this is, this is, you know what I mean? What is it, like 8 to 1 or 10 or... Or something like that. It's like, bad. It's bad. It's, it's crazy. It's and, 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 you know, and they, they want to be so Birkin bagged up. They don't, they don't even want nothing right now, you know? So. How many burgers you done bought, man? I ain't buy none. None? Nah. nah. I, bought, I bought a lot of shit to help stuff. <laughs> that shit's still expensive. Yeah, yeah. But for, for, for mine, though. You know what I mean? Not, I ain't just, I ain't okay. just tricking off. You yeah, know what I mean? Sense. Yeah, you got you to gotta put in work to get the work. Yeah. I ain't buy the shit, no, yet. I, I got a Dior. That's just <laughs> That's just as crazy. Well, that's my girl though. Yeah. For five years, that, see, so. that's what I'm saying. When it's when it's your girl, you can, you know, it ain't it ain't no limitation on it. Ain't no, no limitation for on sure. it. So let me ask you then. How do you move in a room full of hoes? Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. I I I work the room. Mm. I work the room. I, I show love to everybody. You know what I mean? I go in, I make sure I speak to every every lady. Mm. For like sure. That. You can't you can't you can't choose up. Because what you gotta realize. They gonna choose. Women, they gonna they gonna show you. You know what I mean? If you choose up too soon, it's over. you gonna miss out on the one that you really probably want. Oh my god! Or or if you whatever mode you in, if you in the mode that you just trying to get some cheeks, you gonna miss up on that one that's really gonna go. Yo, you know it's crazy, bro. I had to learn this the hard way. Being a young dude going to college, we used to something to college mm -hmm. days like that. Well, I was the wildest nigga in college just going and smack at everybody. Same. Now, she don't want me because I went smack at her friend. Yeah, yep. <laughs> now, oh, my God. Because she did want me, but I ain't know. I can't even tell you how many times a girl's like, you try to talk to my friend. But listen, at the same time, all I do is give it a couple days. Mm. Listen, I ain't going to lie. I still want you, baby. Mm. Like let's just you know let's go have a drink you know let's just vibe out you know we ain't got it we don't even talk about nothing let's just get a drink that's friends and it's a wrap after that because I already know who I am and what I'm gonna do what's the what's the what's the craziest you went for a first date craziest <laughs> the craziest yeah. I went for a first date I ain't gonna lie I really don't I really don't go on dates unless it's somebody that I'm really trying to be serious with 
So if it's somebody I'm trying to be serious, what we gonna do? We gonna do the whole nine yards. You know what I mean? That's cause you older now, bro. That's cause you're a grown man, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I be seeing niggas on the internet they don't understand, like, ain't nothing really too crazy. Cause if I'm into you, yeah, it ain't nothing. I'm enjoying it myself. Right exactly, this point. exactly. It ain't it ain't nothing. You feel me? Cause you gotta realize your first impression is 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 the best one. You know what I mean? You can't, man, if it's somebody I really want, I'm finna show you what mm-hmm. it's gonna be like when you be with me. Facts. You feel me? Let's get it, man. What's popping, everybody? Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. We here, man. Uh, you know we bring the hometown to the A, man. Hey. Michi so crazy is here. What up, dog? Hey, what's good, man? I'm glad to be here, man. I've been seeing you uh go up, man. I support you, man. I'm a fan. You know, I appreciate so it. I'm, I'm happy to be here, bro. Yo, I um, I'm happy that you are here. I'm happy that we still have people that see the growth and that support it from the beginning. Because you was one of the ones that yeah. I'm happy to say that, yo, you was one of the ones that was rocking with me before I got here. You was always showing love when you yeah. had to. Like, your platform's still crazy, but, you know, when your platform was as crazy as it is now and mine was just still coming up, yeah. you, all, you always just like, nah, bro. Show, yeah, yeah, show for love. sure. I appreciate that. For sure. Nah, bro, hey, man, it's this this industry, the entertainment in general, is about relationships. Mm. You already know that. You know Facts. what I mean? Like, let, let's, let's just say... If, if if I wasn't a, a, a genuine dude and I try to make that call a year from now, that call is going to be denied. It's not even going to be answered. The, mm-hmm. By the fact, the number ain't going to be the same. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's about relationships. Facts. You know what I mean? You know, right now, if I had a billion dollars and and I and I had an internship, if my son wanted, I'm giving it to my son. Mm. Facts. Yeah, for sure. Respectfully. Before yeah. I give it to you to, with a degree. Mm. You know what I mean? It's relationships. It's, it's, man, it's relationships. This is true. Relationship is the, the It takes you farther than getting money. It does. Relationship is the biggest currency. Everybody always talking about money and money. The biggest currency there is in the world is the power of relationships. My, yeah, my, your face card, man. My homies be making fun of me. This guy right here be making fun of me because I be telling people, like, bro, you got to get in the room. Yeah. People underestimate the room so yeah. much because, like, it's certain things that... <sighs> Everybody be wondering how I ended up with Black China at that time. I'm in the room, baby. I'm in the room. And she feeling me. I'm here. We for the DMV. Who ain't, they all feel us anyway. We go anyway. Facts. You know what I mean? Facts. But come on, bro. It ain't no money. It ain't none of that. It ain't none of that, bro. Yeah, like, it's funny because the money can help for sure. But when you got... Let me break this down. Hold up. And yeah, when you walk, you got a certain walk with you. You got a certain talk. You got a certain bravado about you. You know what I'm saying? People going to feel it. They say, they've been saying this for years. Real recognize real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can't make it up. Bro, I've been in some rooms with some of the biggest people, millionaires, and they literally still look at me and be like, giving me props. Like, yo, nah, Jay. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. You can't make it up, bro. Yeah, you can't. You can't make it up, you bro. You can't. Nah, that's, right. that's, that's, nah, bro. That, that, I think that's the number one thing. I, I just was talking about that. Just was talking about that. You got to stay. The way I was saying the three H's, because I go by the three H's the way I live my life. Mm. And it's humble, honest, and hungry. Oof. Because it's like, with them three H's, you can literally achieve anything. Mm. You know what I mean? If you were, first off, if you were honest, dude, it ain't, it ain't, I've never met somebody that was an honest person and was honest with me and I didn't respect it. Mm. So for one, you're going to get respect. You know what I mean? Let's talk about it, for and sure. And then, if you, if you humble, man, everybody love a humble person. You know what I mean? I meet so many celebs, not to say names, and they just be arrogant, maybe disrespectful to women, or may just be, you know, big head, whatever the case may be. But then I meet the greats, the ushers, and the and they just so humble coming in the room. How why? you doing, King? You know what I mean? Like like just real respectful and humble. And I'm like, okay, I That's get it. That's why you usher. I get it. Right? I get it, bro. Yeah. And then you already know you gotta stay hungry. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You don't eat if you ain't hungry. Not facts. It's the only it's the only way to eat to be hungry. Yo, do you feel like sometimes the humble guy don't get his just due? For sure. But at the end of the day, if I, if, if it's me, I don't care. Because mm. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't want it if it ain't going to be the, the, the way that, that I envisioned it. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I'm the, I'm the humble guy, but you want the arrogance. All right, cool, but well, go ahead and go with that. Mm. You know what I mean? Let it take you where it's going to take you. Cause you know I'm a firm believer, and you know the man upstairs. You feel me? What's for me is for me. So if if, if it ain't if I don't get it, it's cool. I be I think I be like battling that nowadays. I'm not even gonna lie. I'll be lying if I didn't like just seeing people just do dumb stuff and just and mm-hmm. you know they 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 getting lit from it. It's man, like, 
It's like, bro, and you like, be like so, man, it's so, it's so easy. It's so it's easy. It's so to... dumb. It's so, man, I could have. And then it's like, at the end of the day. That's not me, man. I can't what do that. you, bro, what you get lit for and what you known for is what people, it, what, it's what well, they know you for forever. That's a fact. Oh, my God. That's a, wow. Why you think it ain't no NBA players that made it in rapping? That's a fact. That's a fact. You know how many of them rap? A lot. <laughs> and if they don't rap, they want to rap. Bruh, you see what I'm saying? It's That's like, bruh, I want you to shoot the ball, bro. I, come on, bro. Come on, stop. Cut I'm not going to hear that. Even if you good. As good as you are, as good as you is, Damian Lillard, you always going to be Damian Lillard. Yeah, me. Damian Lillard he's is tough. fire. He's tough. He's lit. He's probably the toughest. <laughs> he is. He's tough. But he's, he, I always just, even as good Miles as he Bridges is. was kind of hard, too. Yo, even, um, What's the top? Iman Shepard. Iman Shepard, yeah. Yep. These dudes is nice. Yeah, it's yep. like, it's some reason they can't get over that hump. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. But even, that's even, even in the music industry, though. And I feel, I almost feel bad for this guy, but think of Little Bow Wow. Yeah. Like you said, the, what we, how, how you introduced to us. Yeah. Is, for one, you, I was, we introduced you as a kid. Yeah, so it's hard and to. And you still, and you got, and Little was by your name for so long. Yeah, that's, damn, that's. That's crazy. And he's probably, like, one of the most talented guys. You he know is. what I mean? Because just think about it. He, at that age, to still be here, headlining tours, it's crazy, bro. The fact that people, just, he just never was able to get over that little bow-wow. Like, hey. damn. That's right. That's a fact, it's, bro. That's it's, true. Bro. It's a gift and a curse. It's, it's a gift and a curse, but I'm I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, that ratio. Mm. You know what I mean? Because... You could just look at it. You see the TikTokers, the people blowing up for certain things, and you like, okay, I'm. This is if you're not about to keep making this type of stuff, I'm not about to, you know, stay tuned in. You know what I mean? It, it's just that simple. That's why you see a lot of sometimes if they a one hit wonder because they probably try to go left the next time. Mm. You know what I mean? And they don't stay consistent with what we love you for. This is tr- yo. We was down. Yeah, this conversation been consistent like for the last two days. What like, if Drake real? didn't make songs for women? Mm. Yeah. It's very rare that it's a song you listen to when it's just for guys, bro. Like, yeah. for real. Like, that's what he think about it. Everything Drake do, women love it, bro. And it's so... But but hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Because you can build your platform so big where people just stay. Think about it. Drake, I love Drake, bro, but as much as I love Drake, bro, he get away with some of the corniest shit to this day. Outside of music, though. No, I feel like I feel like outside of the songs, it, even his songs be corny sometimes, bro. But it be it I hit. feel like it was only one. That's a Tuesday slide. No, it's a lot. Like everything he does, a lot of shit he does, like the the the, the necklace shit, bro. Oh yeah, no, a lot of that. Yeah, see, that see, shit see that the, ain't the song though. That ain't the song. But people overlook though. it because he's Drake. Yeah, no, for sure. That's that's true. That's true. So so you're right. How you get introduced, it, it definitely matters. But in some cases, some people. Some people blow up their platform. So think about it, Jake yeah. Paul, right? Perfect mm-hmm. example, Jake Paul. Yeah, now he YouTuber. boxing. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Boxing, but and he's... also we know what that got to do with too, though. His, his, skin, his skin color. Come on now, you know what I mean? Let's let's be real. Mm. Let's let's really let's really be real. Cause it's it's <laughs> why they never been done. He ain't the first person that thought about that. Okay, hold up, DDG. Yeah, but he DDG makes some good music. He do. Respectfully, and I'm a fan. And people, people, I, I respect. Rock, well, he, I think he got a res- platinum record or gold record, something like that. I don't know, but don't quote me. I don't hey, know. but respectfully, when you think of DDG, what do you think about first? Respectfully, you too. Like, for honestly, sure. you. For sure. it, that's what that, that's what I'm saying. But he's been successful in his music thing. Yeah, but he make more from YouTube than that, and he sure. says it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? For so, sure. so he's gonna always be a YouTuber, he, and he's no, gonna always do it. But he, I feel like though. He's some. And he's a lot of inspiration to a, so many YouTubers that want to make that change. Yeah. If you hear and him talk, it, you're right. You're right. You're right. That that is an exception. That is an exception. Even Queen Naja. Yeah. Queen Naja. It's even so. Queen it's Naja. it's a. It's not a lot. Yeah. It's not a lot. It's, it's not a, a lot. Few, it's not. But even, it is some. We think it of Kanye some. West. Kanye West. Some. We got introduced as a producer. Yeah. So it's some. Yeah. You got to be some. special. It is some. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Some. It's some. It, it, it is some. But I get what you're saying. Not to take away from your point. Yeah. Nah. Nah. I mean, listen. It's always. It's always gonna be. It's always gonna be one. Or two or right. three, or you know what I mean. But when you think about the the, the millions that's doing yeah. it, it, it it don't add up. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. So be careful with your brand. But what, it's what we saying. Just be careful with your brand. You know what I'm saying? Stay solid. It mm-hmm. hit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean you can't. You got to give something. You got to give something 100. Mm. percent You know what I mean? If, if I'm if I if I'm right here about to try to acting, 
and I'm trying to do music, and I'm trying to go overseas, I'm giving what, 30, 30, what, 33 percent to everything? Mm. You know what I mean? Nothing is 100 percent. So what am I really gonna be great at? So let me ask you this then: What about, damn, what about the the young, entre- hungry entrepreneurs who still got that nine to fives? I feel like it's. I feel like as long as they got a plan in the mm. nine to five is. It's just a part. It's a part of their journey because at first you got to start somewhere. Right. Nobody goes. W- nobody wake up and entrepreneur and be successful. You know mm. what I mean? They had to start somewhere. Whether whether they was put in a position or whether they had to work a nine to five, save up the bread, build their clientele, their they relationships, and then they be like, "All right, I'm cool." Thanks. You know what I mean? <laughs> but Thanks. one thing they doing is one, one thing they really committing to is making money. For sure. Yeah. They going to work. They giving a hundred. They going to work every day. And they you might not be saying? giving 100% to work cuz they doing it every day they being consistent yeah. though because you got to you, you got to do that. You got to get you got to do that. You got to do that. I might but, have block this so they might watch this shit. What? <laughs> I said I ain't giving my job 100%. I need that money to pay the bills. That's it. Hey, yeah. But hey, but look, that's the thing though. When you I feel like everything is about a plan, bro. Like mm. a lot of people they just don't have a plan. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy, David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now, listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. Mm. You know what I mean? They do a bunch of stuff to just see what's going to happen or what's going to work. Or well, I'm just trying shit. You know what I mean? They don't have a plan. They don't have a plan like, you know what? Okay, cool. I'm going to use this platform right here because it's going to help me with what I'm doing right here. Facts. And you know what I mean? Like, like it got to it gotta make sense. It make sense. You sense. can't just be, you can't be the blind leading the blind. You know what I mean? That's a fact. Let's jump into it, man. Michi. What's your plan, man? What's going on? Introduce the world to you. Like, I feel like we was introduced to you through other people. Yeah. Honestly. Uh-huh. To be honest. Like, yeah, I, for sure. For it was sure. the whole Black China thing. It's Black China for sure. boyfriend. Like, I think for sure. that was the yep. introduction. See that? And, and this is and this is the really crazy thing, though. Like, I was an artist before anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like if people in the city, in the DMV, they all know me as being an artist. Mm. You know what I mean? Because when I was in a group, when I first met you, you know what I mean? Like, it's strictly artists, 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 artists. You know what I mean? When I left the group, that's when I went into a depression. Mm. Got to get out of contracts. I can't put music out. You know what I mean? Because if I put music out, it blew up today. I don't get anything from it. Mm. You know what I mean? I can't make money because if I do bookings or do certain things, I owe people money. You know what I mean? So I went into a crazy depression, and that's when I ended up with just letting the China stuff go instead of just shutting it down immediately and like, man, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not even going to entertain it. You know what I mean? But I did entertain it, just not being into, not being in my right mindset. You know what I mean? And just keep it 100, bro. Like, where, where we from, bro, like certain stuff just don't happen to us. You know what I mean? And when it do, we we try to seize the moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It may not be the right thing to do. That shit, she got a fat ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> this thing but, is crazy. Hey, mid interview is wilding. Hey, <laughs> it may not <laughs> it, it may not be the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, listen, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a man at the end of the day. I'm a man at the end of the day. It is what it is. I ain't bro. even see past bro, the, the peripheral. <laughs> My uh, peripheral, bro. And it's this too, boy. You got the This shit good though. It is. It well, is. I'm sorry, man. It Go is. Ahead. No, certain bro. shit just don't happen. And it yeah, works. certain stuff just don't happen don't happen to, you know, people, you know, where I come from. And when I did start messing with her, I started making the most money I ever made in my life. Mm. You know what I mean? So I got blinded by the money. Mm. That's what I got blinded by. You know what I mean? I'm getting 
I'm able to fly my brothers out, fly the family out. I'm able to go buy jewelry, do all the stuff that I see on TV and all this stuff. So I got lost in it. You know what I mean? And uh, at that moment, I was just like, all right, I got to figure out what I'm going to do because this ain't me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I was an artist before any of this. I don't want nobody knowing me for no for no chick. You know what I mean? That ain't that ain't me. You know what I mean? I don't come up off no 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 woman. You know what I mean? I'm a talented guy. Sing, dance, write, produce, act. I do I do it all. You feel me? So why am I sitting right here, entertaining this situation in general? You know what I mean? Man, had a dip. That's that's so powerful, bro. I don't know what it is about the this platform, but like we always get people to just open up in a different way, and like that was just like. I would have never known that, like Man. even like the, the the state of depression, the 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 way where you were mentally, because in through my perspective through media, right, I'm just thinking you talking about your situation, but yeah. like you like man, I got lost. Man. I shouldn't even been there. Shouldn't even been there, bro. I, I I really shouldn't have been there, and I had just got out of a relationship, literally, like. Just I got out of a relationship, so you know, you know us, us men. You know the easiest way for us to get over one is to get under one. Facts, get into yeah. You know what I mean? Not saying it's the right thing to do, but it just so happened that I got under a a, a huge one. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it just it it you know it just went viral. Mm. And at that point, it's like, you know what? Cool. You know I ain't got no money right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and get some money. Mm. You know what I mean? But it was positive things from that, you know what I mean? I, 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 t- I sat back when I got out of the situation and did what anybody's supposed to do, but we really don't be doing it. We don't take the lesson. We don't look to see what we, what, 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 we, what we was put in that position for because we put in every situation to learn something from it or gain something from it, mm. you know what I mean? It's never lost. It's always a lesson, you feel mm. me? Dang, you know what? All right, he put me, he showed me, all right, cool, I, you can make $100,000 in a month. Okay, cool. Then I blew it. Mm. Still wasn't happy. I'm walking around with a hundred bands. Still depressed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because what's what, what's money if you ain't got the people around you to spend it on, to share it with? You know what I mean? Yeah. To smile with? You know what I mean? Like like what 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 really what really is it, bro? Right now, if you had a hundred million dollars and you was in the house by yourself, what you gonna do? Just buy a bunch of stuff and just sit there and look crazy? Yo, this shit is Life just crazy. ain't it. No, nah, It showed me what life was really about, bro. And life was really just about being happy, bro. Building generational wealth for the people that you really care about. You feel me? Mm. My nieces, my nephews, my mom, my brothers, my sisters, my people. You know what I mean? That's why I home invest. Home invest now. I got my own label. So crazy entertainment. You know what I mean? I'm trying to open up doors. You feel me? I'm trying to get property to put people in it. You know what I mean? Like, my mindset is just totally different now. But I wouldn't be in this state if I didn't go through them things. I would still think it was about the money and about the women and about all of that shit, bro. And it and it really ain't. You mm. feel me? Because right now, if you, if God forbid you die today, you going in the ground by yourself with no money, no jewelry, no nothing. And even deeper than that, bro, somebody said this shit and that shit, it was, it touched, touched my soul. If you were sick, if God, if, if the doctor told you you got two days to live right now, and you was a trillionaire, you would literally empty your bank account to be able to live ten more years, bro. That shit is crazy, bro. It's crazy you just said that, bro, because it's something that really stick with me, bro. And it's this, right? I'm gonna ask you a question, right? If I if I gave you five million dollars today. Would you be happy? Of course I would say I would. I like like you'll be, yeah, be happy, right? Sure. You would walk out of the house. Nothing can make you mad that whole day or for a long time. I would think so, yeah. Right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. So <laughs> right now, if I said $5 million and you, or you can never wake up again, which one are you going to take? I'm going to take waking up. Okay, so if waking up is that important and worth that much, why don't why are you not happy every single day you just open your eyes? Mm. For sure. If it's really worth that much, like I would give out if I had a billion dollars, I would give it up to wake up. That's a fact, bro. So why we don't just wake up and just be happy, happy, grateful, and just try to figure it out? 
Mm. You know what I mean? Like, like, come well, on, it, bro. It, it takes, it takes, it takes to go through something to to, to get to arrive there. Yeah, that's it's, true. You gotta go through something that's to true. arrive there. That's true, and it's hard. Mm. It's hard, bro. It's hard, bro. What would you say? So you, you, it's nothing as a loss, right? It's always a lesson. What was the biggest lesson coming out of that? Out of what? Out of what? Just the depression? Mm-hmm. Or the situation? Whatever. Whatever it was that you was you was going through had you moving differently. What was the biggest lesson coming from it? I feel like the biggest lesson, bro, was to just try your best to be happy, bro. Do what makes you happy, genuinely. Mm. And a lot of us, we do stuff, and it make us temporarily happy. Mm. You know what I mean? We happy, like, ah, you know what I mean? Cool. But when we leave and we just looking at ourselves in the mirror or when we just alone, we really don't like what we see. Mm. You know what I mean? So I feel like after going through all that, I had to figure out who who am I? You feel me? Who am I? Because I ain't know who I was. I didn't. I thought I was. If you would have asked me five years ago, Michi, who are you? I would have been like, man, I'm that nigga. I don't know. I'm that nigga. Like I'm, I'm him. Like I, I sing. I dance. Like you know, I'm, 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 I'm him. Like, what you mean? Who am I? Who are you? That's how I would have responded. So what about today? If you ask me today, I'm gonna say I'm a brother. I'm a god fearing man. I'm an uncle. I'm a son. I'm kind. I'm smart. I'm articulate. I'm a gentleman. I'm loving. I'm caring. You know what I mean? Just all the things that make me me. I'm talented. I'm a singer. I'm a dancer. I'm, I'm athletic. It's like, it's it's not a rocket science like, answer or question. You know what I mean? Mm. It's simple. Who are you? Like, what what makes you you? Mm. But people think when you, when you ask that question, you got to, it got to be like a crazy answer to blow your mind away or something. Like, uh, like, no, bro. Just who are you? It's simple. Mm. You know what I mean? But we don't think it. We, and that's just life. We make life so hard. We make life so hard, bro. And it's really not. It's really not that hard, bro. It's not, man. It's um it's a shame because life is so short, bro. And they say the old like the older you get, the closer you get to death. So like you start to understand and realize these things. And I wish I knew what I know. I wish I knew then what I know now. Because it's like it it is just easy to live. Like throughout all the things that happen, throughout all the hardships, throughout all the pain, throughout all the the turmoil and, and the shit that you go through, even when, when it seems like, bro, I just can't get a break, even then, the fact that I'm able to have things to go through mm-hmm. is people who wish they can go through something. As crazy as that sound, bro, when peop- it's people, fa- it's family members who wish their family could be here to go through things. I just saw somebody on the street just now, bro. It's cold outside. It's freezing outside. It's under 30 degrees, bro. 30 degrees. People outside on the street. Mm-hmm. And we complaining because we ain't in a penthouse. Mm. I ain't got a mansion yet. This is crazy. I ain't got a mansion yet. With all glass windows. Like, we really not for real. This is this is stuff that we really be mad at ourselves about because we feel like we ain't there yet or we ain't nothing. Bro, come on, bro. I'm, I'm finna go somewhere tonight and I'm finna sleep warm, comfortably, bro. You, I'm thankful for that. You know, it's like you just... You just rearranged my whole discussion. We talking about like I asked somebody like, "What's worse, the middle or the bottom?" Right? And we all say the middle, middle, because it's like we so close to the top, top. but you still right there. You gonna slip up? You right at the bottom. But just hearing what you're saying is like honestly, like no matter where you at, like it should, it should be just it appreciated and honestly. It, and I got something to say for people that feel like they at the bottom, bro. If you feel like you at the bottom. It's only one place to go. No, nah, facts. That's why nobody ever chooses the bottom. They always say the middle is the hardest. It's only one place to go. For sure. People always be like, oh, I can never catch a break. Man, st- nothing never happens. for them. All right, well, listen, if you feel like nothing is, how about you focus on the stuff that, that's at hand? Mm. Like, let's focus on the stuff that's at hand. Because right now, I'm hearing you say a bunch of shit that you ain't got yet. Mm. It's true. But I guarantee if you tell me the stuff that you do got, is more than what you don't got. Mm-hmm. This is all. I love this conversation. This is fire so far, bro. This is dope, man. He's funny. This is dope as hell. Nah, it's real, bro. It is. It, um, it's real, bro. But it, it, 
it, man, I'm telling you, bro. Like I'm, and I'm, and and the more that I speak, bro, you know, they say you say stuff seven times to remember it. You know what I mean? To to, to get it in your brain. So the more and more I speak, bro, I'm, I'm saying this to myself, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because every every day you can forget. It's so easy to forget, bro. It's so much temptation, bro. Look how easy it was. We was talking. I looked at her ass. Mm-hmm. Like it's so easy to forget, bro, and to fall off. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's you gotta reiterate stuff. It, it, and it's crazy because there's nothing wrong. Like sometimes you gotta, sometimes you words are super powerful. I remember at one point in time I never really believed it, but it's super powerful because sometimes even when you aren't there, right? Like my brother, he got his um, he like he got his dream home on his his uh his his, his screen and shit. And that's like, crazy. And like shit like that, bro. That's tough. And look, bro. I got a platinum plat right there with no name on it, say a million records sold just waiting for me. And, and if you ask my cameraman today, what I'm what I'm recording is is road to platinum. Mm. I had this on my screen for about a year and a half. Nah, it's, it's it, but every I, time I look at it, I know, man, I'm trying to go platinum. That shit is so important because sometimes even when you're not there, that shit huge. When you're not there, when you're speaking, like you said, you got sometimes you got to say things seven times just for the stick. Sometimes you got to trick yourself into living a better life. Sometimes you got to trick mm-hmm. yourself into being disciplined. You got to trick yourself into all of the things that you think you aren't. Because once you start to say it over and over again, you start to believe it. And once you start to believe it, you start to achieve it. Like, I know it might sound corny. It might sound nah, cliche, but it's so yeah. fact. Like, it's fact. Deion Sanders once said, bro, everybody always talks shit about Deion Sanders. He always got this drip on. He's like, bro, look, if I look good, I play good. Mm-hmm. If I play good, they pay good. And it's just like that. It's the yeah, same thing. Like, if you simple. start to say things, you start to say it over and over again, you're going to believe it. And once you start to believe it, you're going to, next thing you know, you start walking and you're like, oh, shit, I was just just saying it. Yes, last year, I'm really here. Yeah. How many times you be like, bro, damn, look at us, bro. Look at me, bro. I used to dream about this. I used to say this shit. Mm-hmm. I used to say it. That shit crazy. How many times? How many times? Everybody in this room, I'm sure, niggas, I'm pretty sure you woke up like, you look good. You got to change. I know you probably looked at your watch at least one time. And be like, bro, I, it was a time where I always wanted this shit. Mm-hmm. Look at it. It's nothing now. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm getting emotional, bro. Nah, I, it's, this is some real shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cause this is, bro. It, it, it's, it's really crazy, bro. Like even even, bro. Before even like last week, bro. I was in a depression, bro. Like literally in the crib. Like did not leave the crib. My shorty telling me, go out, go out, go out. I'm like, I don't feel like I don't feel like I deserve to go out. Mm. I'm not where I need to be yet. But that's so, that's so not good to myself because I've accomplished so much that I'm that 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 I slip, that I slip and not be appreciative for, bro. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that that's the thing, bro. Like, I'm appreciative for this right now. You feel me? Because it's reiterating it to myself and it's showing me like I'm 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 doing what I'm supposed to do, you feel me? Like this this bro, everything everything in life is gonna be hard, bro. And if and if it ain't hard, it ain't it ain't gonna stick and it ain't gonna be beneficial. Period, bro. If it ain't hard, it ain't worth. They say, <laughs> you know, it's so much shit. Like when I I, I like I can't make bro. this up, bro. And this is, I was telling, uh, we were just having a conversation last last interview, and I'm like, bro. Part of me feel like I want to stop like doing research. It's just bad with me. I say that because like when I do research, I tend to try to talk about the shit I research. But like these is the conversations that's you can't make this up. Like you can't do mm-hmm. research and like you can't this type of shit. You can't like th- only you get these conversations through time and through going through some shit. You feel me? But these are the conversations that is the best for me. I ain't gonna lie to you. But I say all that to say, bro. I I said one thing or something on this podcast and like um I'm like I already made it. Yeah. Right? Cause like just think about it, bro. Like I'm interviewing niggas that's on the biggest platforms. Everything I said I wanted to do, I'm doing it. Yeah. Even if it's hard. I literally told my girl this today. I swear to God, bro. I'm like, yo, it's a it's a down season. The numbers ain't where I want it to be, you know. Instagram took my collab feature and shit like that. But like I seen millions before. I seen mm-hmm. millions of views. I seen hundreds of thousands of views. So this ain't nothing. Mm-hmm. If I ain't see it, it would be one thing. But I say that to say, like, bro, it's what is it to complain about, bro? Like, look at us, bro. Like, like, really? Like, like, come on. Like, like, talk to me. Like, it, it, what bro, is it, it to complain about? It's literally nothing, bro. <laughs> nothing. It's literally nothing to complain about, bro. 
<clears throat> it's not, bro. This shit is great. It's really, it's really nothing to complain about, bro. All right, look at us. Like, look, look at yourself. You feel me? So you say you don't deserve to go outside. Like, what are you talking about? Like, are you crazy? No, yeah, bro. You exactly, crazy. bro. Really, bro. Really, bro. Really, bro. Like, do you do you still sometimes even where you at now? Do you sometimes feel like you be in rooms where you don't belong? Just curious. Not thinking about um, it right now, but is it times where you feel like you 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 have that feeling? Just curious. Only when I feel like I'm in the room when and it's people that that's that's not on the same frequency as me. You know what I mean? That's that, that's, that's not on the same page. That mm. don't got my best interests, or that that doesn't that don't. It's not trying to get to the finish line. Facts. That's you cool. know what I mean. When I'm in a when I'm in a room full of full of doubters and people that say that I can't or this can't happen and stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm not where I need to be. Mm. This so ain't room for me. I could literally be me and you talking, and I could hear that uh, so two other people's side conversations. I could hear two other people's side conversations and hear them just saying down shit, shit just like. Nah, bro, you ain't gonna maybe do that, bro. Cause look, they did this, da da da, and I'd be like, bro, I don't, I don't need to be. I here. don't even need it. Like, I don't, I don't even want nobody around me that feel like nothing is, it, it shit is impossible. Facts, impossible. What's that? What are we talking about? So I was really talking about like more so imposter syndrome. Like, do you ever be like in humongous rooms and be like, hell no, kind of nervous? Hell no, no, not at all, bro. Mm. Maybe five years ago I would have. Okay. Now yeah, sometimes I all. still be. Mm. Now not at all because I, I I know my worth and I know my talent and my skill. Mm. Just cause just cause yours on a bigger platform and in your eyes and other people's eyes that don't mean nothing. I'm still living my dream. Right. You feel oh, me? Yeah. I'm people still sing my songs. I used to pray for times like this for real. It's just fact. <laughs> no cap. Like for I real. really used to, and just cause it's. Ten thousand or fifty thousand that sing that screaming screaming my name and singing my song. It don't make me less of a man or less of anything because you got a million. Mm -hmm. It don't matter because I'm still gonna eat. You know what I mean? Bills are still gonna get paid, and if they put me up next to you, I'm still gonna do my thing. Mm. You feel me? So that that that's how I feel about it, and that's for anybody, any sure. artist, I don't sure. know who it is. This is you know good. what I mean? This is this is really and good. I and I only get good comparisons. I never take a good comparison or, or a comparison of a legend and be like, man, why you keep saying I look like him? Or why you keep saying I, I can remind you of him? Nah. Oh, I appreciate that. Because mm. you got this picture on your wall. So let me go ahead and keep doing what I'm doing. Let me keep doing what I'm doing. Say no more. Oh, I remind you of that? All right, cool. Say no more. Because you like that, right? Oh, bet. All right, say no more. It's all good. It's all that. good. I ain't never, I don't, in, in that type of room, bro. Nah. That's where we flourish I'm cool. the most. Yeah, that's for real. Yeah. That's how I pull the people that I pull. Yeah, for sure. When I'm in them rooms, you're going you gonna to be like, you're not going to never think, oh, he don't belong. Mm -hmm. Never. Nah, for sure. Never. And I can go in there literally with, with no jewelry, no nothing. Because mm. cause when I didn't have no jewelry, then I still was standing in them rooms on 10 toes. You feel me? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a, a certain level of confidence you got to have. And if you don't have it, you need to get it because you it, you it, it won't you won't go so far you won't go so far just period. So how do we like how do we draw the line because it's a thin line between confidence and humility. How how do we draw that line and where do we draw that line? Because you know to be humble, they say you mm -hmm. can't be full of yourself but so much. But to be confident, some people can mix that with arrogance. Where do we draw the line between humility and confidence? Man, when you do something that you feel need to be celebrated, you celebrate it, bro. Mm. And, 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 don't, and, don't, and don't give a fuck about who don't care. I mean, who don't like it. Mm. Period, bro. If right now, bro, you hit a million views or something, bro, and you wanted to go pop, go go crazy, do all that, and somebody be like, bro, it's only one million, bro. They got 10 million. Why are you doing all that? Eat one. <laughs> you talking about? Facts. Period, I'm bro. Your vibe, the bro. only, bro, the only people that feel like your confidence is a, is, is, is too much or it's not, uh, them not the people you need to be around, fool. Mm. Them not the because because somebody like me going to be like, tough. I'm like, tough. I, I've seen it. Mm. You know what I mean? I've watched this stuff go up and I'm like, tough, bro. I remember when we, bro, what the hell? I'm like, tough. For sure. That, that's just, but everybody ain't like that. You know what I mean? That's why I don't be with a lot of people. I'm in here with one person right now. And that's why the company you keep is so important because just like you're saying, it's the same people you've been around. You got to be careful because 
depending on the circles you're around, is depending on how they're going to see you, right? So you might be talking about how you so lit and what you got going on. And if you're in the wrong room, some people might think, wow, this nigga always bragging. He always think he's better than people. You you change the room. You change the place, right? The same person. Change the place. And other niggas will be like, yo, that's lit. Me too. You feel me? Like, nah, for real. Do your thing. Like, it ain't it ain't bragging. We That's what we all doing. Bro, look at Floyd, bro. Think about this, bro. You only going to think somebody doing too much when you ain't got your own insecurities, bro. Mm-hmm. That's you got you got to figure that shit out on your own. Facts. They ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Facts. You Talk know what I mean? Talk I'm going to brag and do cuz I came from nothing. Nah, so no I'm right. going to do the most. I'm yeah. going to do the most. What I'm not going to do though is I'm not going to say oh I'm better than you. Yeah, for you sure. ain't shit or you ain't. Now that's now that's where it becomes That's where you draw the line. That's where that's where the line is drawn because okay. now you, what you do, you shouldn't be putting down others. You know what I mean? Got it. But everything you do should be celebrated to the utmost. Okay. And if somebody feel the wrong way about it, then that's just that. It's just period. Nine times out of ten is just them being insecure or them just mad about their situation because they ain't there. Mm. Imagine if everybody was millionaires. You could do anything you want and they would not be mad at you or mm. ever tell you, are oh, you arrogant or you cocky? Why would they even care? I'm rich. They rich. Yeah. But they not. You feel me? That's the only reason, bro, is people in they in, in where they at in life and they circumstances, bro. They sit behind the phone and they feel like they got a voice and opinion because they can tweet and talk about crazy stuff and have an opinion when at the end of the day, all I got to do is delete the app. And then I don't know who you is or never saw you or never can hear from you again. So why would I even, why would I do what I'm doing to impress you? This what? True, I'm true. doing what I'm doing to motivate. No, nah, this is hard. This is this is a fact. This is a fact. Back into the music, man. You got something you just dropped um, while you working on. It's crazy. No, I dropped it. Yep. I dropped it last month. I dropped it uh, right before Christmas. Title one more time. Crazy, crazy Dope, dope love. 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 Yeah. Cra- crazy Dope Love. It, it's super dope, bro. It's a, uh, my fir- and it's crazy. It's my first EP. My first EP. And I've been doing this. I've been doing this for a long time. You know what, what I mean? What made you, it, I mean, somebody that never did an EP, you would think you, you don't need to do that shit. What made you want to do the EP? Because it was about time for me to put out a body of work. I will always put out one song, 15 million views, 20 million streams, all that, then try to go get a deal. Then mm-hmm. partner with somebody to, so that they can put fuel to my fire. You know what I mean? Because not having funds, not having certain things that, that you need in the industry, not having the relationships. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then I get stuck into a situation where... They want me to change up some shit, or they want. Now I gotta wait to get out that contract. Mm. Another year and a half. You know what I mean? Put out another song. I'm back. Okay, cool. I, I gotta. You know what I mean? Like I gotta. I, I need. I need some help. You feel me? I'm never one to say I don't need help. I'ma always need help. We can't. Nobody can do anything on their own. You know what I mean? Mm. So, just getting into them situations where just messing with the wrong people. Now it's like. Now. I got the funds to where, okay, we partners now. Mm. I'm not signed to you. We partners. You got to match what I do. You got to match my stuff now. Now I got the leeway to do whatever I want to do. I could drop music today if I want to. You know what I mean? Like, now I can do whatever I want. So now it's like, okay, you know what? I'm finna drop I'm finna drop seven songs like every three months, mm. every two or three months with visuals. I'm finna just keep flooding them. That's the way to go. Like, I, um, I, it, it's been a few people that do that. I think niggas really win like that, though. I like the, the mm-hmm. videos. Ain't no point of putting 16 songs out. Come on now. I, I don't know not one person I listened to 20 songs and all of them I liked and played again. I, you just don't. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I mean, the only person that does that, and I still don't listen to every the, every one of them songs, is Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris, yeah. And, yeah, and, and I'm a, and I'm a fan of Chris, but I'm not... Sometimes I don't even listen to thirty of them songs. Yeah, I don't you know think I, mean? I listen to all thirty of them songs. I'm not. Like. I'm not listening to thirty. And if and if I do ever listen to all thirty, I'm gonna forget <laughs> fifteen of them drinks. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's going and that's gonna be that. So okay, right. nah. I'm like, you know what? Cool. Let me put out seven of them that I know hard. I was the collaboration now. Are you collaborating with writers? Or yeah, for the, sure, for sure. Uh, I got a guy named uh, K Major that I collab with. Mm. He did. Um, he started Jacquees. B E D. In the met in the club, he did Chris Brown, um, the feeling like Moses. Uh, he 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 do stuff with everybody in the industry. Period, point blank. And um, I met with him, and he he when I met him, 
we genuinely just click, bro. And we both saw the vision, bro. Mm. The thing about it, bro, is you got to work with people who believe in you. Mm. You know what I mean? And not just about a check. Because nowadays, everybody just want what you can do for them. You know what I mean? Good. Not, man, you are really super dope, bro. You know what I mean? I'm with it, bro. I'm with you. Mm. You know what I mean? So I met K, and we like brothers now, bro. You know what I mean? Talk every day. like like, And it's somebody who is credible. You know what I mean? I also got OG Park on the, on the, on there. I, like I got that. yeah, I like got that. OG Park on the project. Then he so, do some work with uh, Vito. Yep, Vito. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. Yeah, yep, yeah. I did. I did. Uh, Wanna be your man with Vito, Ao and Keys, mm. and you know those are Grammy award winning people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, Vito so, is dope for sure. Super super blessing. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, bro. That's why I said, bro. It's like when I really think about it and then just start talking about it, bro. I realize, like, bro, I really, really came a long way. Super long way, bro. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 people that do this stuff for a long time and never hit a million views, just one million, or never get in the room with these people and you know what I mean? So who am I to sit here and be like, man, I ain't doing enough, man. I, nah, 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 nah. Man, let me enjoy this. Let me enjoy this, bro. I'm I gonna... think honestly, I feel like I think it's a normal feeling though, because especially in the day of age with social media, it makes it so easy to feel like you ain't doing enough. That's why I'm be on it. It makes it easy. It makes it easy, for sure. Bro, when I went through my depression, bro, I, f- I unfollowed everybody. Mm. I literally, it say zero people. My timeline, it say, it, it, my, my timeline had, I literally just, when I dropped my EP, just followed my brothers and sisters and the people that helped the EP. Mm. So I followed maybe 20 or 30 people, something like that. But I unfollowed everybody, bro, because I was comparing my life to the shit I saw. People that I came up with. Now, surpassing all the way up. And I'm like, man, I'm way talented, bro. I'm way this and that. How were how you there? And you, you know what I mean? When it's like, who the fuck am I? Who am I to judge? Why God bless you? You could have a you could have a, a, a elderly parent that's sick that he just did that for you so you could take care of your family. Mm. And who am I to sit here and, and, and care about the talent? It's not always about that, bro. A blessing is a blessing for you. That's That's yours. And if he did that for you, then I, and I'm with it, bro. I'm gonna support it, bro. It is period, point blank. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't our place. It ain't our place, bro. So that's right. why I stay off. That's why I don't follow. Man, who I, who I see is the people that that I see in my daily life. You know what I mean? My nieces, stuff like that. I'm not about to sit here and look at no shade room people that just post up just to glorify, but really tearing us down. Like, bro, I'm not looking at all that because it ain't doing nothing for me. You you look at a twenty year old that's a millionaire already, on social media and you like man I ain't doing shit what am I doing <laughs> shit what am I doing bro I'm not doing nothing what am I doing it's bro it's so easy to feel that way yeah and it's it like it is no bro that's not who who said that you had to be a millionaire by twenty who said you had to move out at eighteen who said you man if I had if I could have stayed in the house till twenty five and saved up I would have did it. For sure. <laughs> oh my God! I would have left the house <laughs> a couple hundred thousand <laughs> before fact, anything. Like what? I like, what? No, for you sure. know what I mean? Like who put these? See, we we glow. We we say the twenty one, the twenty five, the thirty. We use these ages, and we think that we ain't running out of time, bro. Kevin Hart ain't get put on to thirty some. Jay Z ain't start his stuff to like twenty seven, something like that. Steve Harvey, oh man, he was older. Uh, um, two chains, thirty some was four, bro. It ain't no time limit. You don't know when is your time, bro. That's why we got to just enjoy it, bro. We got to just enjoy the journey, bro. Enjoy the journey. And then when it get to that point, God willing, we can handle this shit. That's true. You know what I mean? But outside of that, bro, we just got to just stick with it, bro. Like, that's why, I, man, that social media is a, it's a killer, bro. No, nah, it is. I ain't gonna, it's that a killer, shit. bro. That, that shit was a part of my depression, bro. Like, man, that shit is crazy. They, I think they trying to help a little bit. The fact that you could like turn off your um likes and comments, that's pretty cool. Man, that don't mean shit. <laughs> Cause you still, I see still it. see you in that house that I want. Yeah. You talking about? No, it don't help nothing. Facts. Only thing it stop is people saying stuff about me. Facts. No, no, <laughs> you know no, what no, I mean? No, like, no. You're right, you're right, you're right. when they come on, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, it's all not. that is cool. Nine out of ten people only turn it off when they know they finna get bad comments about some shit. Yeah, or they not. Get, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? That's a fact. But I, I like it because if you can stay consistent in it, but what happens is we get in our own way, right? So let's say if, like, you just, I'm just on social media to work. I'm going to turn my comments, I'm going to turn my likes off, I'm going to just post. What happens is 
The moment your shit do a get so, lit, you going to turn up and just right back on. on. You're going to turn it right back on because you want people to see. Yeah. So if you can stay that way, though, it's uh-huh. cool. But more than likely, you ain't going to stay that way. Because yeah. as soon as you get some a number over what yeah. you used to getting, you're uh-huh. going to turn that shit right back on. Yeah. I need y'all to see this. Yeah. In our line of work, we really can't afford to keep the comments off because we need people tagging and mm-hmm. sharing and talking. You know what I mean? Like, we need that. Not Half bad. of the time, when I look at a post and that shit was funny, I look at the comments and see what the fuck they say. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, damn, I thought the same shit. Not yeah, fact. You know what I mean? Like, Facts. So yeah. we can't, we, we don't have the luxury of doing that yeah. right now because we, we, still, we, still, we still on our way. You know what I mean? We still working. So, That's a fact. That's a fact. But, you know, I ain't going to lie. When I, when I get to Beyonce level, I ain't going to lie. I ain't looking at nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think she look. She probably got somebody posting that shit. Yeah, I ain't looking at nothing. Have you seen nothing. that shit? That Beyonce shit? $24 million for that one concert? That's what you're talking about? Yeah. <sighs> Did you see the performance, well, She bro? made more than artists make in a year. I mean, uh, they I'll whole career. I about to say, what? <laughs> they yeah. whole career in <laughs> one night just to do like 20 songs or 15 songs. I think they open in like a casino or, or something. They open in a hotel or something First like off, that. First so off, I got a lot of money. Yeah. Just going over there. Everybody got Ferraris and shit. Like everything. Yo, is but did you see the performance, but bro? Crazy. I'm coming out the wall. But it's, it's different. She different, though. Yeah, she different. She different. And she put in enough work for that. What's really unfortunate, though, is Chris really supposed to be on that level. Wait, you think so? Bro, what? Bro, he's been consistent every year. It's hard going to platinum s- in jail. It's hard to like, say he belong on that level though. Yeah, but it's nah, hard to bro. say he belong. Bro, Chris Brown, bro, is the closest thing outside of Beyonce to to Michael, bro. Period. Point blank. I get bro. what you're saying, but talent wise, no, you're this, right. This is you're what I'm right. talking about. Keep in mind, I'm 100%. talking about talent. No, you're right. I don't look at artists and be like, who they fucking. Or who no, they, no, 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 or no. what's their personal you, life. I don't look at none of that. You're right. You're right. All I'm saying is, you're right. Do I believe that Chris Brown deserves a lot more flowers than he gets? Absolutely. 100%. But you I just You think feel Beyonce like, make better songs than Chris Brown? Um, Songs? Keep it 100, bro. Probably. You think Beyonce yeah. make better songs? Yeah. You done lost your mind, Kenny. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. What y'all think in the room? I think so. I ain't gonna lie to you. Huh? I, I'm not saying Hell that. Hell no. I, I, bro, I, respectfully, I so. bro. I think so. I, I'm tripping. I might be tripping. I'm tripping. He tripping, bro. I mean, I don't know. For I men, like, and, men nah, and women, bro. Nah, nah, so, no, no, no. Beyonce, I ain't not listening to her for real. No, nah, no, nah, hold up, hold up. I love the artistry hold up, hold, because she's that. Hold but up. Chris got everybody. No, Chris Brown got hits for sure. Hold up, it's though. Not even about hits. Bro. I just feel like, like I feel like I don't bro. know. I can't I can't really compare them to you. That's not a fair question. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. She's hold up. bigger. Of course. No, hold up. The songs, I I don't know. Like, I feel like I feel like Chris Brown got hits, but Beyonce. For a man and woman, who you playing in the bedroom for real? Between them two. Neither one. I, I'm saying you gotta choose between them two. <laughs> of course, you're gonna play somebody. Of course, you're gonna play some older stuff. I probably play Beyonce. But, you lost, you are a lie. I'm not. What song? Bro, we got it's mad songs. What name one that you gonna play in the bedroom? We can go, we can go back. We can play. I'm a, to you? Maybe your girl may bro, put that we can on, play, but you're not pressing play We can play Cater to You. We can play shit. We can play Halo. We can play... I, I'm so playing many, Halo. Se- I'm just saying. Bro. I, I like... Bro, but you, you can't ask me that because I'm going to play... Okay. I can play Mary J. Blige. I can play Mary J. Blige, some, some broken heart shit. I just love R&B. Yeah. Like, so... Facts. I get what you're but saying. But Beyonce is a pop artist but, for real. She man, got... She got way... She got... You go, you go back to... When she tried to do the... The hood stuff and it sounds forget dumb. no no forget that but you go, you can go back to Destiny Child when we talk about Beyonce we talk about the category of everything Destiny Bro, Child Chris started when he was fifteen no, 16 no for sure too, for sure yeah, and he and every but I'm gonna have sex to run it hit. I'm gonna have sex to run it I'm gonna have sex to what to uh take you that take you I mean that's I mean Chill out, I feel bro. like that the, one song alone is gonna top every Beyonce bedroom song. To like, me, only only I say that because, like you said earlier, I know people might not agree with me, but like you said earlier, you are how you get introduced. I'm not making love to take you down because that shit made me feel like when I was a sixteen or some shit like that. But nigga, Beyonce, say the same. All, no, that shit is not. I can play one plus one right now and it's still the hit the bedroom. same. I'm just saying it's still Bruh, hit oh, the same. Bruh, name one of Beyonce songs better than No Guidance. 
A lot of them. Bro, you, I'm not right, just bro. making this up, bro. I'm, all right, chill out, bro. bro. I'm not just making this up, bro. Like you're bugging now. I'm sorry. I'm bugging, bro. I, I, I know. I, niggas, and then this crazy, bro, because I love Beyonce, bro. So I hate to sound like I'm against. But her, no, no, I'm it's, not no, against no, her no, at that, all. It's crazy. It's I'm crazy. Not against her you, at all. You know what's crazy? Because I don't love her as much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I don't, bro. But <laughs> I'm bro, just thinking about the I'm music. I'm not even one to even like keep talking about the guy. No, I'm, I'm here now. I'm curious, bro. Come on, bro. I'm thinking about songs that like Irreplaceable was in, in, in 06. That song probably that song still hard. hit to this day though. But when you talk about like, yeah, that song was like hard. run it and it's like, like it's cool, it's good. Bro, not you cool, going it's through good. a hot break or something, bro. I'm not. You play, not, you play nah. Say Goodbye, that's right going crazy. Uh, hell no. No. Different, bro. Maybe how do you? Oh my God, bro. How do you? I'm 26. That's why. It makes it. Okay, cool. I get it. I get it. I'm 31. I'm it not. It does not matter. Chris Brown is your age. Bro, but I'm not. Say goodbye? I'm not, no, that shit is like some little kid Bruh. shit I think about when I think about it. When I bro. think about say goodbye, bro, you can't say goodbye irreplaceable. Like, come on. It doesn't even it doesn't even match up. It doesn't even match no, up. No, irreplaceable is hard. But you that said say goodbye, hard. bro. That like say goodbye. I'm talking about he got a song for every situation though, is what I'm saying. He got a song for damn near every situation, bro. I'm sorry, bro. All right, bro. When you ready to kick when you ready to kick a drink to the curb, but deuce is crank, right? <laughs> Right or wrong? No, I'm sorry. I'm All right, bro. Saying, All right, bro. Now, now you, I'm not taking no. Now, bro, wait, I'm not, not taking you. Are you tripping? Here, podcast fool. mode. I, I'm not taking nothing away from Chris you Brown. Chris tripping, Brown is fire. Bro. He's the goat. But when I'm thinking about Beyonce songs, I'm thinking about like these songs live forever. But respectfully, neither one of them got timeless music, so none of them live in forever. I think Beyonce I'm not got listening timeless to, music. I'm not listening to "Take You Down" when I'm 45. Yo, one plus one. How, what, what's I'm not like? listening to one plus one equal two either. That shit is fire. You crazy. Am I I'm tripping? Not. I'm not. All right, hold up. I'm a, watch this. Watch this. Watch I'm this, not, bro. Hold bro. up. Let me show you some shit, bro. This nigga is insane. Is anybody in here on his side? They probably not, but I'm a man of my own. I, I stand until by myself. Time, until the end of time, Justin Timberlake and Beyonce. Bro, look until at this. That's hard. If, hard. if this song came out... Bro, if this song came out in... Hey, got dope music. Bro. Nah, nah, nah. You took me there. Nah, fuck that. What, what, what year What year to say? What's your hey, year to say? What year this song came come out, bro? On, bro? If came out in when when nah, did this when bro. did this project come out? Cater to you came out in two thousand and four, bro. But that's not her, just her song, bro. That's, so that's, what? That's you can't even. I, I'm not yes, counting under that. Cater to you that's came like, out. That's like, name a song in 04 by Chris Brown that hit the same even, as a think, grown up as it did as a child. He, he wasn't out then. Beyonce's like forty something, bro. That's she's different. not. Marcy's young. You lost. And her he mind. was out. Let that industry age fool you. She's forty something. Nah, she's not forty something. She's like thirty something. She's like thirty seven. Okay, bro. And That's still, he's like 31. No shit. And still, he's like 31. So, kid. so you can't, like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking child, bro. Yo, he hey. argue about Beyonce and fucking Chris Brown. You can't. T- if no. came out they both two- older than me. <laughs> if came out in 2004, it still hit the same. You don't even know what song I'm talking about. I don't. Right. What song are you talking you about? You can't even talk to me about this what shit song right you now. About? Soldier. With T.I. Lil Wayne, 2004. Well, don't talk about collaborations. Chris got all the best features. What? We not about to say that. I'm Who a bigger feature child. artist than Chris? I'm arguing with a kid. Who's Beyonce. a bigger feature artist? Beyonce. Everybody don't get on her songs, and people don't, and she don't do their I'm features. I'm arguing with a child. Bro, Beyonce don't do features first I'm arguing, and what, he don't even know the song agree, if. You agree to that? Y'all never heard this song? Bro, Chris Run is on every crazy Y'all never song, heard bro. this song? Yeah. I heard, I heard this song. Hold on. No. What the fuck is that? What the hell is what that? The- Get the fuck out of here! You fucking tripping! This shit is timeless! Okay, bro. Y'all never heard this song. What? Wait, who got more timeless music? Rihanna or, or Beyonce? You never oh, heard this. Bro, please, please. Who got more timeless music? Beyonce or Rihanna? For you. I've never heard that song before, bro. Person. Stop it. Stop oh this shit. Bro. My God. Rihanna? Rihanna? Yeah. Rihanna? Yeah. Yeah, Rihanna for sure. Yeah, yeah, Rihanna for sure. Rihanna no. got, you know, Rihanna got the second most number ones in the world, the Beatles and her. Beyonce only got like 13 number ones. Beyonce, Rihanna got almost 18, 19 of them shits. So she what just, was the question? Let's go back to the question. Stopped, so wait, we, 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 we over, so we over, we go over. Go on this round of applause. Wait, so we, so we over. Bro, oh my God, wait, that's, bro, that's, that's crazy. So we over the, the Beyonce hey. and Chris Brown comparison, right? We no, over that's, that. you can't compare the two. But you asked me who makes I'm, more I'm better saying, music. You asked me that. You asked me that question, yeah, so you compare it. Yeah, and I, I said Beyonce. Stand ten toes on Chris. Okay, cool. I'm going Beyonce. All right. So now, next question was, who makes more timeless music, Rihanna or who? Rihanna or Beyonce? I say, I think Rihanna. Beyonce. I uh, oh, then that's to me. That's really that's really crazy. 
But it's also different because I make music. Bro, you is crazy, bro. Ooh. Beyonce got... <sighs> bro, so why she ain't got more number ones than Rihanna then? I, a number one don't mean nothing to me. You know that. Not to you, but I'm talking about timeless music now. Like, I, these are songs that 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 live forever. Bro, a number one doesn't really... We, you we can't name like, a number one that you, know you won't listen to listen, forever. Listen, listen. No, all, all that's, no, no, that's not really, really Listen, you know who, who settled this? You know who, who settled this argument? Who? Timberland and Swiss Beats. When they created something called Versus, right? They created this thing called Versus, mm -hmm. and it showed us that niggas with the number one songs don't mean nothing. It doesn't. Like, because we can, I can go on. Like who, bro? Jada Kiss literally showed us. He, he, if Jada Kiss ain't show us that number no, ones that don't mean nothing. Dumb, that Versus was, Jada Kiss was just popping his shit. He was just tough, but that ain't have nothing to do with All right, no time I, cool, music. Cool, cool. I'll give you some more. Ones. It's cool. It's fine. It's fine. I'll give you some more. Um, It's cool. I'll give you more. It's cool. No, no, it's cool. I'll give you more. It's cool. No, no, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll give you more. Don't worry about it. It's like a timeless club. It's fine. I'll give you more. Cool. Um, that What was the nigga that went with um who was the dude that that went against um um Neo? What was his name? He won against Neo? His name was like uh Javon. Like Javon, like Javon Austin, like uh oh oh um uh Javante Austin. You talking about the uh, the the writer? Yeah, we thought he was. He, we producer. thought uh, uh, no, uh we hard. thought Neo was gonna win, right? No, no, I wouldn't have thought that. Oh my god, bro! You know how long he's been around? Way longer than than. Okay, Neo, who else? All right, cool, cool. Who else? Who else? Who else? Yeah, Javante Austin. Austin. Who else? Yeah, he's been along way long. Who else? Been um, here way longer remember than. when Sean Garrett went against uh um Sean Garrett Dream? Was tweaking though, fool. He was tweaking. <laughs> Sean Garrett smoked him. Yeah, he, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but that's so who else? Though. Yeah, but he, he got more number. He probably got more number no, ones he, too. He probably do got more. But I'm saying the number ones don't count. They don't matter because of the a song. I can give you a song off of Get Rich or Die Trying right now that wasn't number one. That probably hit harder than a lot of number ones. Name one. Yeah, you ain't gonna maybe do that. I don't think. Um, I don't. I, I don't think. Uh, what's the song Which he did one? with? I can't with, name too many timeless Fifty Cent songs. He got tough songs, but I can't name too many. This thought, nigga is 26, bro. Lollipop, nigga? I mean, not Lollipop, but Candy Shop, nigga? Yeah, he's just he showing his age. Keep keep going. Keep going. He's just showing his age. It's fun. In the club was hard. That's he's, one. Bro, Minimum. this whole Minimum. project, bro, it, you just, it's fine, that bro. Let's too. get back to Michi, because this nigga just said I can't name too many Tom. Yeah, but I'm not a fan, though. So you got to, I'm saying educate me. I'm asking. I'm asking. He named three, every and I song, agreed. Every song, Wankster, 21 huh? questions. Ho, Hold up, hold up. Wankster, 21 questions. I can't now. Uh, in the club. Um, uh, the shit with Eminem. Um, I'm yeah, just talking about one project. Chill out, bro. I'm talking, but yo, you so so who, who else who else you listen chill to, bro? Who else you listen to? <laughs> huh? Who else you listen to? Bro, I No, nah, no, nah, we need to know now. These are the people we talking about, 90 people that I listen to like all the time. Though. So who you listen to? Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> He hard though, bro. He is. Who, who you listen to? Just his journals album was crazy. Who you listen to, bro? I ain't gonna lie, fool. I've been listening to Wizkid. I ain't gonna lie. That's not bad. Wizkid is so tough. That's not bad. That's a cheat code. Uh, Wizkid so Wizkid so or Burner Boy? I'm going Wizkid. Respectfully, just me personally. I can't. I mean, it, that's me, not a. That's me, not, that's a bad question. Me personally, I don't think no. Either one. That's not a. Than him. Either I one. No, I don't think none of them bigger than than, than Wiz or that I would listen to before. But I feel like you could have chose either one. And it was not a Whiskey bad album. You press play and you just let the whole thing play. Burner Boy like too though. Song. Bur Burner Boy African? No, we're, they both African. Yeah. They both are. They both are. Yeah, they both. Yeah, they, they that's. Both, I, I wouldn't be mad at are. neither one. They no answer. So Jay Z or Nas though. Yeah, yeah, I went with Beyonce or Chris Brown. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that. That's great. That's great. We'll to see because we... Chris because Chris Brown just makes so many songs. Pull your mic up. We'll see. It's when... crazy because Chris Brown just makes so many songs. That don't mean that they like, and they all be they all be so tough for real. Like you can't name like songs that he put out that was like bad. Chris, first of all, we are not about to turn this into a Chris Brown hate train because Chris Brown is lit. He's fire. You disrespected him. Just no, now, I didn't. Though. He's just not rocking with Beyonce. <laughs> like he's fire. Like what are you talk about? Like who, no, who, who dance better? Chris Brown. Everybody know that. Who more talented? Chris Brown, for sure. That's easy. 
I mean, that's that's not easy. That's not easy. That's not easy. That real easy. That was that's tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. Do it all too. Yeah, you right. Yeah, you right. Beyonce is nasty. I just say Chris Brown because I feel like I don't know. Nah, he's he's he. I feel like his shit is more um. Like naturally, it's crazy. naturally, yeah, yeah I feel like it's crazy. more. It's I feel freak, like it's a freak of nature. Yeah, I feel like Beyonce worked hard to get to where she's at. Like, not it's nothing wrong with that, but I feel like she yeah. worked hard to get to where she. I feel like Chris Brown just came out at sixteen, just untapped talent. Like, you feel me? I feel like that's special. That's just my opinion. A lot of people can't do that. That's that's just my opinion. It's my opinion. So I mean, I rock with Chris Brown, bro. I feel you. I, I rock with Chris. I, I didn't say I don't rock with Chris Brown because I rock with Beyonce. No, nah, for sure. No, no. Listen, I'm not, bro. Beyonce is literally the biggest artist in the world sure. right now. You know that's mm-hmm. alive. So it ain't nothing you could take away from it. I'm just saying. I feel like t- to go back and to sum it up, Chris Brown without all that extra stuff, bro. He's supposed to be on that. Yeah, level, no, no. Bro. Yeah, he's back to, to what we said. No, nah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. That, he's that, supposed that. to be on that level, bro. Yeah, it, respectfully, it bro. I think. The uh, the antics and shit derailed him. Like all he's, of that extra he's shit. He's done enough, bro. He's and the sad know, part bro. about it is the story he came back out that good to like he would never get to that level even. Yeah, the shit came back out that it wasn't even what what, what, what people thought. It was really some fighting each other shit. Yeah, they thought she was innocent. She was yeah. beating his ass too. Yeah, that was sad. But man. I but I still I even if a girl beat me up, I'm not I'm not doing that. It was sad. Yeah, it was sad, man. Respectfully, I hit way too hard. For a female punch to really make me do that, I can't believe this nigga didn't never hear if none of y'all. Like, none of us heard that. That's because you old as shit. That's cool with me. I'm I'm okay with it's that. Like, I love it. I'm blessed. I nah, love bro. It. I ain't never heard that song though. Uh, what album was that on? That was the first. I think that was like that first album. That was the the, the album with uh, Cater to You. Oh, uh, that was Destiny Child. That's why. I, yeah, I'm not listening to that. Who? Nobody's really listening to Destiny Child no more for real like that. Bro, you still listening to Destiny Child? Chill keep, out, keep bro. Going. All right, bro. Keep, keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah. Bro, show of hands, bro. Who's still listening to Destiny Child right now? I'm not sure what he put it on. I'm listening to I'm talking about you, bro. You gonna go? You gonna go to get? In That's a like car asking who home. listened to Mary J. Blige still. Just because old, old music is timeless. No, but she got Mary J. Blige got time. I'm music. still she listening to though. Not Gonna Cry. I'm still listening to Sunshine Anderson. I'm still listening to. As yet, I'm still listening to like oh, you probably don't even know you don't yeah, even know did, nothing. Yeah, who the hell is that? What did you just say? Oh my god! I'm talking Chinese. That's not fair. As yet, people probably don't know. They they made the song. Um, he he is talking. The he sun, he talking the moon, the, moon, the mountains and the river. I, 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 that boy, that I boy speaking me. Chinese. You never heard that song last night. I'm making love to you. Oh, no, you. I see. I told you about to say, last night, I shouldn't even got an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I ain't the only one. Somebody else told you saying that. Oh, my God. Nah, Yo, for real, bro. Tell the people how to follow you, bro. Let's get the fuck out of here. Bro. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, he done lost his mind, bro. I, I did. It's fine. It's fine. You did, bro. Now you we hey, see look, the biggest man. gap. But now you people understand why I keep saying I'm old, bro. You get it now. You get it. it. It's don't ask me why I, ask, I say it no more, bro. Don't hey, ask me, bro. That's a, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's a great comparison, though. I don't feel like nobody can really knock the the the, the argument. You think she's just blowing them out the water by long shot with music, huh? I'm just listening to you. It's your interview. <laughs> I'm just. Here you to really listen. think that, bro? You are so crazy. I don't, bro. I passed it. I'm over it, man. Hey, look. All platforms meet you so crazy. <laughs> M E C H I E S O C R A Z Y, man. My God, I appreciate you for pulling up for real, man. Was nah, fun. man, I appreciate fun. you, bro. I gotta have you one more, man. I, I was yeah, just talking sure, about we need sure. this, man. I need Definitely. some young energy, man. J Hill, J Hill podcast. Michi so crazy. It was fun. It's a wrap. You choosing Beyonce or you choosing Chris Brown? Let us know below. We out. Appreciate it, dog. Ah, oh, man, that was Hey, good. it's crazy, bro. The Beehive is like way crazier than uh Chris yeah, Brown fans. I was thinking to